Good morning. It's uh, Sunday, uh, April the 14th. I'm on my way to a job. Uh, the client has a, a concern about a mud wasp nest um, associated with a window, so I'm going to take care of that issue for him today. Um, hopefully everybody had a good winter. It seems like it just flew by, um, at least for me, um, but I'm glad it's spring nonetheless. Um, and I should mention, I don't think I've ever filmed um, anything uh, related to mud wasp yet. Um, so this will be a first for the Herc 1120 channel. Um, so basically there's two types of mud wasp in this area. There's the pipe organ mud dog, which builds like the organ type nests or like the long tubes. There can be like five or six of them all together. And then there's the black and yellow mud dog, which is more just like a mud mound. Um, so they're, they're both solitary wasp. All mud wasp are solitary and all social wasp. Um, I, as I know, build paper, use uh, wood fibers to build paper, so um, that's kind of differentiates the two. And being solitary, it's just each female kind of provisions her own nest, and they specialize in uh, killing spiders. And solitary wasps, I should note, use their stings for uh, prey collection. What they do is they'll sting a spider and venomate it, and then they'll lay an egg on it once they have it in the nest, and then that egg will hatch in a few days, and the spider stays alive but paralyzed. And then that egg that hatches into the larva will eat the spider and then it'll, you know, help it to grow and then it'll finally pupate in the cell. So it kind of gets eaten alive. Um, so it's kind of, uh, kind of brutal, but that's uh, nature for you. Whereas uh, social wasp, yellow jackets, hornets, um, paper policies um, don't use their sting in prey collection. They only use their sting in uh, colony defense, like a mammalian predator such as a human uh, disturbs the nest and then uh, they, they use the sting for that. But when uh, social wasps, such as the hornets and yellow jackets and polistes, collect uh, prey, hunt prey, I should say, um, they don't use the sting. They just uh, use their mandibles and their, their jaws, mouth parts, and chew it up to subdue it. Um, so that's just kind of the, the difference uh, between the, the mud wasps that use the sting and the social wasps that don't use the sting for prey collection. Um, so I'm on my way to Malvern. Um, and again, uh, my company's called The Wasp Expert. If you live in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania and you have an issue, uh, Google uh, thewaspexpert.com. I'd be happy to help you out. So uh, see you see in Melbourne. All right. See, this is a separate issue. I'm at the home now for the mud wasp. There's like a solitary beer wasp that's going in. So I'm just going to caulk this because it probably you know it needs to be caulked anyway. I'll take care of this issue. So um, that should dry and I'll seal them in there and then uh, show you the, the mud wasp nest now. All right, so here's the mud wasp nest associated with the window. And as I said, um, they are uh, solitary. Um, they specialize in hunting uh, spiders. Um, and this solitary wasp um, are the only wasp that uh, use their, their sting, unlike uh, social wasp, to uh, capture and hunt prey. Um, so I just use my uh, scraper tool and uh, just remove it. Look like uh, it reared about five on this side and then another one there. And then they, these are like one that's like one cell. And then sometimes I'll like put some, you know, extra mud there to cover up the cells, almost like an envelope, but you know, like a mud um, shell kind of over it. So it's a blob. It's not like the pipe organ mud dauber, but it's uh, black and yellow uh, mud daubers, the species. Um, so that's what we're dealing with today. You know, just do an inspection of the property and see what else is around. All right, thanks. You can actually see uh, right there a spider, dead old remains of a spider that it captured, wasp captured, and the larva feed on it. Um, so yeah, just uh, mostly this here is just mostly cosmetic. As if you, you know, you step on it, you know, you're out in the yard or, you know, you step in it when it's getting mud or, Hunting spiders, that's really the only time they'll, they'll sting. Females don't really sting unless um, they're pressed. They don't come out of the nest. You know, you disturb the nest or you hose it down or something, you're near it, they're not gonna, they'll just fly away. They're not gonna fly out like uh, the social wasp and, and sting. Really only if they're handled. And the males don't sting. It's just the females of any stinging insect that have a stinger. The males don't even have a sting or any venom. So that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna clean this up and that's that.
Uh, it's a mud wasp, okay. but it's gone. Just cleaned it off. 